Hi, I'm going to go through some uh, things I'm discovering with combining two programs, Mo 12 and Can Can I. So let's go into here, okay. One thing I've learned so far is that uh, the drawing tool is out. Let's see if well, I'm here experimenting. Let me change this to this and let's make a shape here. I'm not going to make, you know, something fantastic. Bingo, I got a shape. And I'm gonna get the project settings on this. Hey, it's on the wrong setting. It should be high D def. And I just don't want to say one frame. So now I'm gonna render my animation. Hey, entire animation, everything looks good. Hey, um, and I'm gonna delete this. And yeah, I'm gonna replace it. Okay. So now I'm gonna go into this program. Let me. No, discard, and I'm going to open import my image file, and of course I have to hunt for it. There it is, and now one of the things you can't do is have the stroke change um, width, but there's the stroke in here and I'm going to actually delete this cell and we're going to come down here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a change to it so I'm going to draw a new curve and that's the starting point so let's just change this to something like that okay and I'm going to spread this out and generate the in-betweens and there I got my nice in-betweens and let's see I forgot where the color picker is on this but anyway let's let's change this color to uh, let me see let's see if it Does that? No. It takes a while. Hey, there we go. Now I lost my line lines, but let's see this exported. So we're gonna uh, export the image. Okay, I'm gonna wait. B. That's what's good. I'm going to export it, and I'm going to drop out of this, go back to Anime Studio. I'm going to, oh, you know, here's, here comes the problem. Okay, if I go to image sequence, okay, there's no image files here, because they're all SVG. But if I, this, this is the same location. Okay. And here's the SVG files. So, let's turn around and let me grab all of them. And I'm going to import them in, back in here. All right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is grab my imported. And I'm going to group them and make them into a switch file. And put the switch. And of course, now, they could import them into the same size, but that's not really a big issue because I'm going to import it and I'm going to 
switch it around. I think it's just get this right over top of the other one. There we go. Now the problem is this is the pain in the butt part. Okay. I'm going to go one frame forward. Come on. Oop. One frame forward. Come on. Okay, let me go one frame forward. Come on. Okay, there we go. One frame forward. Switch. One frame forward. Switch. One frame forward. Switch. One frame forward. One frame forward. And on the keyboard. Another frame forward. Another frame forward. Another frame forward, another frame forward, another frame forward, another frame forward, and there I got my 12 frames imported. So now I'm going to turn off this one, and I want this on twos, actually spread up, probably on fours. So I'll hit Alt, I'm going to spread this out, and there I got my animation. One of the things I lost was the lines. I'm getting, you know, <laughs> this is like my third or fourth try at this. I'm learning a few things. But let's see if we go back in and we can't fix the disappearing lines. Okay. The second frame, third frame, fourth frame. I find this is disappearing. Um, so let's go on to this, and I have no fill tool, there we go, Well, anyway, that's the process. Let me somehow turn this recorder off. Thanks for watching. Bye.